after the um, interview, I came straight to the police station and I did press give my report and press charges against the two men that assaulted me at the um, bus stop. What was the police response at that time? She said, she didn't really give a response as in to say we're going to look for them or anything like that. She just said, she said she was, she wouldn't be in the next day, but she was going to make sure you get to court and get some court action and explain about, um, explain about the, um, the case that will, um, that I will be going against. What has been the police response over the past two days since that happened? Um, so we called a couple times during the day, yesterday evening, last night, and none of the men have been detained as yet. Going to check if they have been detained, because it's been 24 hours, um, 48 hours now, so I'm just going to go check if they've been detained. Manima spent less than a minute inside the Ladyville police station. She was told that the men had been detained, although no proof was provided to support this. Um, I asked if the two male that have assaulted me, Mr. Hernan Serrano and Ronald Mejia, had been detained, and the police officer told me, yes, they are in police custody. All right, so how does this make you feel? Does this give you some sort of ease? In this time? Yes, it does because um, I mean I doesn't ha I don't have to walk feeling feared mm -hmm. or anything on the street thinking that they're going to harm me because of all the exposures and everything. Manima also had a message for young women who may have suffered a form of gender-based violence. To young ladies out, to women out there, that I would just like them to speak out because. I mean, maybe I have a delay in getting help, but it doesn't mean it doesn't always have to be the police could help you. I mean, others could take you in and help you, you know, help protect you. It doesn't have to mean they harm the person that did it to you, but at least help protect you and get you get you on your feet before you can go and tell the police or so to get better justice. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.